Defenders of the faith are what I call the believers in the faith-based intelligence, the great Tillman coined. They are so fixated on protecting their platform that they will isolate anything to defend the indefensible. But I submit to you, and I, you know I was a supporter of the Iraq War, mm -hmm. okay? I, and I don't blame you for weapons of mass destruction. I think that the, what the data we had, anybody could have made that mistake. New York Times had it on the front page. They had weapons of mass destruction. Mm -hmm. But the way the war was waged, come on. That was a big screw-up. We didn't have enough troops there. We, didn't, we underestimated the, uh, the problems there, hmm. didn't we? Bill, you acted like Rumsfeld just ran a red light. Ah, it can happen to anybody. And you'd think that someone in O'Reilly's role would know after nine years that the New York Times tale was total bunk. And while I give him credit for rebuking Rumsfeld on the war itself, incisive inquiry demands far more than making critical commentary on the readily obvious. Reading up on the aluminum tubes actually takes a little effort, and O'Reilly never budged one bit in that direction. Have you seen the national intelligence estimate that was provided in October of 2002 in which the intelligence agency under the State Department said that Iraq was not building up a nuclear capability, that this whole story about the aluminum tubes was completely off base. We had William Cohen, Secretary of Defense, on here under President Clinton. He believed, and so did President Clinton, that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction. Mayor, very instructive. Well, we appreciate you coming on a program. And we got to go because it's only an hour really program. Bill. I know I am. I appreciate it. A one-hour program that runs five days a week, and yet it's in, in its entire history, O'Reilly has never even uttered the words aluminum tubes. It just doesn't register with the likes of O'Reilly that what Clinton and Cohen thought is entirely irrelevant to the tubes. But smugly circulating invalid arguments is the way of the world now.